go ahead, go ahead. That this time, when I say good afternoon, y'all niggas is paying attention. Yeah, okay? yeah, let's go, let's go. Good afternoon, folks. Good afternoon, Miss Kaisai! Oh, to Kaisai! <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to episode number 35 of Don't Believe the Hype podcast. We are back at it again. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am Casey, a.k.a. Case Boogie and a cut. What it do? Mr. Tariba, Shami T, Dwayne Odell Knox, because I got the hat on today, okay. and uh, Toby Tariba. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> and it's MBT, the one and only. Yes, God. Blech! Okay. Yeah, <laughs> All right then, let's just get started. Okay, cause I'm horrified with what I'm hearing so far. Mm. Um, today it is time for our ever favorite. You know it, you love it. Mm. It is time for table strainers. Strainers table. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> so perfect. <laughs> I don't even know why it works so oh, well. I nearly dropped my drink. <laughs> Actually, amazing. All right, cool. All let's right, get cool. straight into it. <laughs> Focus. I'm not sure that one out. Oh, let's get straight. Into it. You should. It's you part, should. It's part of every intro. single week. That's Come on beautiful. now. All right, cool. Where we okay, going? cool. Let's get into it. So, to the right, right of us, mm. we have. Um, I don't actually know the name of this trainer. Does it have a name? It's the Rick Owens Dark Shadow High Top, but famously known as the Ramones. Why it's called a Ramones? I don't high know top if it has any Ramones. high top Ramones, low top Ramones, side top Ramones. I don't mm, know. Not the side top. I don't know why it's called a Ramones. Obviously, there was a band called the Ramones. I'm not sure if they wore it, but this looks like it was came after their time. But okay. it's a high top shoe. In yeah. any case, it is the anchor boot of the Rick Owen trainer. You know, the one that looks like a clown shoe, that one. Loud, um, please. It will be Anti- good if you are, trainer. I will. If you are listening to us on the streaming platforms, as always, please check out our YouTube channel so you Indeed. can actually see the creeps in our real life. But if not, I'll describe them the best I can. Do mm. you know me? In so, o- in other words, this is just a fashionable converse. High That's top converse, slightly chunky, it is, a normal converse. It, d- the reason why I call it a clown shoe yeah, is because that the front, front, the toe box that is front sweet. is That's giving real scenario. crusty clown vibes. Yeah. It gives you, if you have if you have toe problems, then it gives you some extra room, you know, wiggle room. Is that why you like them so much? No, I have no toe problems. Well, Sorry. This is just yeah. a winter. You no, know, that was on your own. Look, let me tell you. Why? <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Why? Let me tell you, this trainer, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I've always liked the trainer. Mm. Um, yeah. I don't know why I haven't bought. And no, actually, I did buy them at one point, but I returned them. You did. Why did you? Guys, do that? I made a big mistake. That was a mistake. So, a big mistake. And guess what? When I eventually got the guts to go and buy it again, mm. sold out. Mm. Yeah, man. It always gets like that, man. Sold out. But every time. Yeah. No, and even another thing. This is, I think, this is the first luxury trainer we've had on um, DVTH. On DVTH. Obviously, we spoke about your um, Chanel's when you lifted your foot up. Actually, but no. we actually haven't on. Ch- no, no, I no. think I feel like we've had one. What, no, no, we haven't. We have, we have, we have, this is the first. Okay, okay. thank yeah. you, Michael. This is our first luxury trainer debut. I wish it was another pair. Oh. Bet, oh, bet. This is a Rick, um, Rick Owen slander corner. Okay, so, I, I, I really don't like these trainers. You hate it or love it. Yeah, mm. and I am on the hate it side, but that's okay. It's Too no bad. problem. Laws are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is the um, <laughs> this is the uh, the first luxury trainer that we yeah, have. Yeah. If you feel like we should keep adding them, can we have a few between the three of us? Yeah, Let yeah. us know. In the comments, it's, um, it's not it's not just the Nike and the Adidas and all that. Do you know what I mean? Do the luxury trainers. It's not everyday yeah. hype. Sometimes luxury. Yeah, sometimes enjoyment. Sometimes brilliant. All right, cool. Let's move on. To the left of us, we have the Nike Air Jordan Turbo Green Jordan One Highs. Yes, it's a great colorway. Which makes no sense why it's called Turbo Green. But um, because it's green. It's blue. Mm, okay, that's all for the bag. Actually, the color is turquoise. Mm, turquoise is a variation of green. Is it? It's been great. So listen, <laughs> <laughs> this trainer um, has that's it always cool. been this dusty? Did it come like this? Yeah, yeah it came, it came, came somewhat dusty. It's just yeah. Toby has now. Created more no, but well, I like it, it though because this is sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell like it's got like a, a antique oh, type. Yeah, it's giving real antique vibes oh, on yeah. the sole, and um, I really like the colorway. Mm. I actually really like the leather on this. It's beautiful. It's really nice. It lacks a lot of structure though compared to your normal Jordan one. Yeah, but that's because it's like new back and that. This is full on vintage. This is real like, sweet. Your like sliding around. When Toby initially bought those, I did not understand why he bought those, mm. but I get it. I get it now too. It. It's definitely gonna be a future classic. You think uh, so? I don't mm. know about that. But okay. I don't know about this writing. This writing kind of takes away the classicness for me. It's annoyed everyone, really and truly. The train looks like it came from Jane. From where? He's basically saying from China. I know exactly what he's trying to say. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to hear him clarify it. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> All right, brilliant. So to end today's table trainer trainer tables, we have on the pedestal here with us today. <laughs> Drum roll, please, Toby. Come on, join. Come on, let's go. Okay, right. We have the Nike and Sakai Vapor Waffle in the sale colorway. Wee, 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 Right, so last week we had the um, the black pair owned by Mr. Tariba. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. Gorgeous. Yeah, show us both tongues. Mm. All right, Stretch to the right of us. Come on, show the back. Show that big yeah. booty. Sorry to <laughs> <all> <laughs> that we didn't have a video last week. Technical difficulties. Yes, right actually, yes. Yeah, you know that. Yes, very, very sorry about last week. Technical difficulties <laughs> and everything. things there. That. Yeah, <laughs> so Happens. you didn't see the Sakai's last week. We did have the black ones. In I got them on my feet. Oh, God. Look at you! Look at you! I gotta show the people. God damn it! But today on the pedestal we have the cell colorway. These are Mr. MVP. Damn, you're flexible. What the heck? Yeah. Just said, ah, it went ah. really high. I've been working on that in the gym, man. I wow! To... Come on, Chevy T. If you're nasty, he said, "Yeah, I'm gonna show y'all today. Uh, Get them right. legs out, ladies. Right. You know what it is." <laughs> yeah. All right, so. <laughs> Cell colorway, this is actually hectic. <laughs> Cell colorway, mm. these are um, between these and the blacks. Which one do you guys prefer? The blacks, neither. The blacks, Michael. Do you know the reason why I said neither, guys? I have now realized I hate the shoe. Whoa, wow, I hate the shoe. Say swear, swear. Do you, wear, um. do you hate the shoe full stop or is it just your toe size once again? Oh, can do you, you know what? Yeah, <laughs> do you know what? I just yeah. want to know. You better shut up because your foot barely fits in that shoe. My foot tastes like it's yeah. perfect, guys. What are you about? I'm not gonna lie. Um, I fell into the hype with this trainer. Oh, mm. wow. That's your no, no, I fell into the hype. Did like, you believe the hype? <laughs> yeah, I did. Ah, so did that. Ah. I believe the hype, and it's a big mistake, guys. This shoe is getting sold. If anyone wants a ten point five, Michael's got a ten point five for all of you. I'm telling you right wow. now. Hey, bada, 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 10.5, 10.5, 10.5. Stop trying to beat. In the back, I yeah, ten point five. He has to be the worst seller ever. He basically just the shoe's ugly, but he said this is ugly. Ten point five. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I'm saying for myself, it's ugly. I There's other it. people that can make the like you're wearing the train right now. You may look nice. I know. No. So you don't not, like both colorways. I don't like any of. No, I like the colorways, but I don't feel like for my size or for not even my size. For me, it's not for me. It's That's too chunky for me. It's it's different to the original Sakai's. This is a lot chunkier than the original Sakai's. Mm. My I'm the type of person that wears slim narrow trainers. I hear that. That isn't for me. Even yeah. though I do like the Rick Owens and the Rick Owens look bad on my feet. They look sick on my feet. But this is a whole new destination. Ooh, this, is whole des new destination. this is destination <laughs> Bermuda. I do not uh, like this shoe. This is a triple S. It just, That's it just what doesn't, it is. It just doesn't fit in your wardrobe, really. Someone no, said, yeah, yeah. it's a triple S. Someone said you yeah, don't but know you how to a wear it. Ones. And what happened? I tried them on numerous times, and uh, what no. was the verdict? No. Yeah, yeah I hear you. That's it, though. It is a chunky shoe. Yeah, it's good that you brought up the triple S. So in terms of, for those who obviously might not get their hands on them and kind of want to know what the structure is you like, ain't. it fits very similar to a triple S in terms of the, the chunkiness of it. Yeah. So in the same capacity that I would wear my triple S is, mm. is how I would wear these. But it's no way near as heavy. Like no, no way near as heavy. It's a stone on your feet. Like Isn't it like there. more narrow? I yeah, in the front. Like, it's got, it's more narrow in the front narrow. than a triple S. Triple S is kind of a box toe. This is a sloppy nose. That's a sloppy nose. It's definitely, <laughs> it's definitely a lot more narrow than a triple S. I mean, I have a pair of triple S's and they're huge. They're big. Look, when you say chunky, that's a chunky shoe. Chunky and this heavy. Looks right, chunky. Look at this looks chunky. This does look <laughs> chunky, but trust me, it's really light. It's really easy to wear. Don't don't believe don't believe people when they say that it's a shoe that's too chunky. It's too big. Guys, no, don't believe that. Hype trust honest. me. I think you should believe the hype. I think it's a beautiful shoe. Yeah, no, no. Not that colorway, the black colorway. No, no, like, like you said, it doesn't fit my wardrobe. Mm. It's not it's not for me. I believe the hype and guys, I got stung, so I'm trying to say Well, that. it's not for everybody, but that's not to say that the hype shouldn't be believed. No, 100%. No, 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 no. It's just yeah. I don't believe the hype on them. They're not They're not for me. I heard that. Nice. Yeah, okay, guys. cool. All right, then. Well, thank you very much. You know, it's been another episode of Tables yeah. Trainers. Trainers. Tables. Come Should on, we man. do that again? No. No, what let's happened? do it. Let's do it again. You messed it up. I, yeah, okay. Did you hear it? All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Tables Trainers. Trainers Tables. <laughs> well, All right, Michael, tell us about so the new releases. Guys, as you know, every single week we get new trainers. Every I'm not going to lie, I was surprised about this list mm. because we have been keeping our eyes out on the trainers that are coming out. Mm. 
like every single month mm. even since lockdown every single month we've been concentrating on what trainers are coming out yeah mm. and it still seems like there's trainers that are coming out of the woodworks mm. like um what's it called casey showed a pair of trainers was it you or toby that showed a pair of trainers on, our, on the chat Which the one? green and yellow dunks green and yellow dunks yeah no no, no, the yellow, no yellow, yellow sorry yellow and black dunks yeah the iowa's that was not on the plan it was no, no i didn't see it it was no um, drop date didn't have it I looked on trainer releases for the year. It was, I one, I didn't see seen it. It was one of those ones where they always say that it's coming out uh, autumn, winter, or something like that. Autumn, oh, winter, oh, 2020, okay, 2020, 2020, but yeah, they don't know yeah, the yeah. exact date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but it, now they know the date. Okay, definitely, so, definitely showed up at the bleed off. Mm. Okay, so what's the name of the trainer? The Iowa. The Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. They come up. They came up before. They're, they're like the Michigan. Yeah, yeah, they they're like the Michigan, but instead of navy, it's black. Yeah, black. Do you think you any of you get them? No. I think I would. You know what? I think I would. I've seen. Was it not Young Bane that was wearing it a while ago? I feel like. This what I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I saw someone like wearing this. Is, it looks like I can't remember. I feel like Wu Tang Clan had a, a pair of they ducks do. back in the day, mm-hmm. and it looked like this. It's the exact. It's the it's exact, exact same, same color. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe that is that is it. But they just decided to give it a different name. I could see myself getting those. I really like them. Though. Yellow and black. I could see myself. Getting I think those. it's a palatable pair. Like yeah, yeah. you can definitely wear it. But I just I I think I'm just over on dunks. The dunks, mm-hmm. man. Don't worry. I'm over it, man. When you see it, when you see a color that you like. Yeah, your, maybe your, your purse will open. Yeah, I mean, like the Michigans, the Michigans, I really liked. I really liked the Michigans. And the but community gardens. Do you get them? But this is the thing, like I don't know if I would. What about the community that gardens? That means, do you really like them then? Uh, <laughs> that means, do you really like them? I do really like them, but it's just like I just want to make sure. For me, anyway, you know me. I like to make sure that all the trainers I buy, I would be happy to wear them in two years' time. Okay. And I don't know if I'd be able to do that with the Michigans, or whether I would like. I think their classic colors, yellow and navy and white, like it's classic. I don't have a problem wearing that, but I'm just like, will I feel like, oh God, I really want to pick up these. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. I get that. I don't know. I get that. I get that. Well, back to my list. Yes. Guys, Nike have messed up again mm. for the second time. Oh. We're trying to see if we can make a hat trick for 2020. Wow. It's the Mochas. Yes. The Ooh, Mochas have been delayed once again. Mm. So, so second time? Any, huh? Second time? It's the second time? It's no, second time. it's the second time now. Yeah. So we're trying to, like I said, trying to get a hat trick. Yep. I really am. I, I, <laughs> I'm pissed off because that is the one trainer in 2020 I've had my eye on. Yeah. The eagle eye on. Yeah. And these people have delayed it for the second time till December the 20th, 2020. Sad. Guys, Mad. this trainer ain't coming out till August next year. I mean, it's come, out, <laughs> it's come out in the United States, so it... it Will be what does that mean? Point. Yeah, I just feel like they've lost the shipment personally. I, I can't understand if how one have, nation yeah. has got them, yeah, and yeah. they've been enjoying them for a while. But it's a jurisdiction thing because you know, know that you've bad. got like Asia, I, Asia shipment, the Europe shipment, yeah. and the uh, United States. But where is, so where is it? Where is it? Tell you, it's, so, it's, fell, it's fell off the boat. Rubbish, I don't know you know, you know, um, when some delivery men they know it's a train and they steal it, like yep. they did with the PS5s. Yeah, yeah, man, But no, honestly, guys. I really want this trainer. Yeah. I really, really want this trainer. Same, same. I am holding myself back from okay, buying the resale. Yeah, yeah you, you have to. You have to wait. Just give it I, a second. I'm not going to lie. I've contacted someone on Depop. Oh, He's God, ready to sell it. it to me. The price will go down the when price they come is, out. You always... Don't say this. Guaranteed. Don't say this. No, that's a guarantee. Well, okay, well, how is it a guarantee? Because, because this, there's not enough stock in the market right now. So that's what's controlling the price. So as soon as the market's flooded with pairs from Europe, the price will go down. It's a gar- it's, it's simple economics. Facts. Do you know why it's not simple economics? It is simple economics. Let me tell you the reason why. Demand and supply. Demand and supply. Yeah. How much do you think they're going to bring into the UK? Uh, it's, not about, it's, not about, it's not about how many they right. bring it. Trust okay. me. Stop no, they're going to bring it guys, anyway, guys, we're going to keep you updated. Yeah, we yes. I told you, I'm definitely going to get the trainer. Okay. Agreed. Yep. But let's see if the price goes down. Let's see. Right. Anyway. The price is right. So. <laughs> Whatever, man. <laughs> so, guys, um, something else we were looking at were the Jordan releases for 2021. Yes. Because we're trying to keep ourselves updated yep. and ahead with of what's game. going on. Yep. So, Casey. Hello. Let us know. So. What's the forecast for 2021? Thank you, Michael. Um, We've got quite a few. We're in for a great shock. Um, I can't keep this up. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was about to I choke on my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried. I just couldn't be asked. So, there are quite a few Jordans coming up. I'm going to give you a, a quick rundown of the full list. Um... Uh, 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 to start with, we have the Jordan 1 highs in the University Blue. I'm not mad at these. It's hideous. It's not a University Which Blue that either. These. It's like a bright blue. Ah, it's like a sky blue. blue. Um, we'll put pictures up and stuff, that but it's a sky blue. Ugly. I think this is going to do very, very They're well. They're trying to make a UNC and it's not a UNC. It's, it's a baby a UNC blue. though, do you know what I mean? Don't, don't even... We'll see, we'll, see, we'll see how things come up next year. Um, we also have another pair of Jordan 1 highs, but they are silver toes. 
So it's. I'm not mad at those. Ones. Yeah, I'm, these. I'm not a fan. I'm not mad at those. I really hate metallic. Mate, I'm not mad. Period. I hate chill. metallic so much, but I think these are gonna do quite well yeah, as well. I'm not mad. Um, we, but they are specifically for women. That's They're cool. women, so. Yeah. No, they remind me of. They remind me of the other Jordan ones that came out a while ago. That the were silver and oh, corduroy. No. Silver and corduroy. No, Isn't that the? Sh- no, no, no silver and corduroy. I know what you're talking about. Oh, you mean the Lily Mays? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Those are fire. The Lily Mays look nice. The Lily Mays. They did look nice. I'm not gonna lie, they did. They were based just in shadows, but this. Yeah. I mean, the rest of this list is just horrendous. Trust me. Well, let's keep going. So we do have we have another (laughs) one, another Jordan One High again. This one is gonna be University Gold and Vault. Now they need to let this vault. We actually post this on our page. I remember this year. Which ones? This one. These. Dead, that, man. Nasty. So we've got those coming. We've also got some Jordan 3s coming in this ugly, cool grey colour. Nasty. I think they might look better in person, though. Absolutely. Ones, cool grey colour. Nasty. Way. These ones. I think they might look better in person. Ah, uh, yeah, they might look alright. You see what I'm saying? They might. I think they work. work. They might work. Don't I won't underestimate. Get them. Don't underestimate. I will. <laughs> and then we've also got some Jordan 4s coming as oh. well. It's going to be in the same colour as the Jordan 1, the University Blue. So that baby blue kind of colour reminds me of like a fake Travis. One, yeah. like, I'm not really here for it. Sorry to stop you there. Mm. You know the Lily May um, Cordroy? Yeah. yeah. Do you know how much they're going for in my size? How pretty much? Penny. 3, yeah, pretty yeah, penny. Yeah, pretty Yeah, because you're, ma- you're a man and it was a woman's shoe. Was it a woman's shoe? Yeah, it's pretty mm-hmm. okay. I'll take it back. Um, don't take it back. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. So there's the fours. We also have another pair of... Oh, my God, there's more fours. It's, oh, these are the, horrid. This is terrible. All right, so then we've got some... Another... Oh, God, these are absolutely disgusting. <laughs> this, is, this is stuff that's left at JD Sports during Christmas. <laughs> so we've got some Air Jordan fours. They are... Um, Night it's called Starfish. Right. Then this is where exactly where this is going to. It's like... It's it's orange underneath, and it's covered by a black mesh. Oh, my God. Yeah, did you see the tongue? The tongue's oh my mesh. God. It's, it's Oh, well, this is disgusting. I did t- there's no need to continue. because No, let's keep going. Horrendous. We can keep going. Nah, nah, then nah, we've, nah. Also, we've also got the Air Jordan 5s in the Stealth. It's a white and blue colorway. Not too bad. I really like these ones. The Air Jordan 5s are called Anthracite. I hope I pronounced that yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, that is correct. Anthracite. It's like a black on top of a black mesh. I'm actually here for that That's as well. interesting. Yeah. Even talking about Jordan 5s, if anyone's got a pair of Jordan 5 off-white and black in a 10.5, please let me know. Thank you. Is he for selling or buying? What's your problem? Like, what? <laughs> Go to the auction house. house. Marketplace. Mate. 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 Is in any case we've got some nines as well and some elevens coming out but who gives a damn about that am i right so um yeah back to you in the studio michael thank you ken anyway <laughs> <laughs> whatever man so obviously another chain that's coming out is the air jordan 4 fire red mm. right now i'm not gonna lie I'm interested in these. Oh gosh, here mm. we go. Do you know the only why I'm, well, only reason why I'm interested in these? Why? Mm. Because of the PSGs. Way. <laughs> <laughs> why? The only reason why it's because of the PSGs. I'll hear that. I'll hear tell that. you the breads. I know they're expensive. The figure shit. The the uh, what's called the is it the stealth? No, isn't it? Is it the stealth? Bread. No, it's the, sorry, jo- the Jordan Fours with the speckle. It's grey with a speckle at the back. Oh, Whatever. Those ones. Five bills. This is the next best thing. The thing is, yeah, this fire red reminds me so much of um, my younger days because you remember Collins had a pair. Of okay, these, don't worry. And okay. it used to bang these out all the time. It just and reminds they me so of first year of college. They look That's so clean. So of. when? So what? Are you telling me the only option I have is the breads? I'm not saying no. that. If you want to buy them, you can no, buy no, them. No, 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 because I'm not trying to look like I'm in nursery. Like, what's going on? No, so? I'm not saying that you look like you're in nursery. I just feel like it had its time and it's come and gone. I think it's a dated colorway. Definitely. That's I don't think I they could be brought, brought back like that anymore. Anyway. But they're coming back anyway. Yeah. You guys like you do. Anyway, the next chain on the list is the Yeezy Free AE Onyx. Yes. Mm, I, I'm a fan. Cheeky triple black. Yeah. I'm a fan for sure. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan. I right on time for Black Friday, it. it's mm. cute or whatever, but... Mm. Yeah, we'll mm. see about that. Yeah. I mean, I heard that, but To I don't be continued, know. let's see what happens. Literally, we're going to see them on the pedestal next week. Oh, 100%. I, 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 allow, I, allow it. No, allow no, it. That's no, unfair. No, 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 it isn't unfair, because what's going to happen here, you're going to sit on your laptop for a good two days, and you're going to be monitoring, and you're going to be like, Michael, no, that's not what's gonna happen. He won't say anything and, and then it comes he will through the post. post and then he'll be like, Yeah, we'll start our job. By the way, guys, this is how Toby moves. Toby is a silent killer when it comes to the trainers. A serial man. buyer. A man will just be telling. buying stuff. Everyone is like raffling for these trainers, going crazy. And then there Toby's he is, waiting somewhere. for a post. Look, it's so, mad. So, so most people probably sitting here, like the guests at, at church, like the pastors are sitting there just like, yeah, digging them up. But you guys are ridiculing me on podcasts. Like, uh, who's it's not that deep. 
We're praising you. So, yep. I don't know if that's praise. It sounds like praise. <laughs> you, I know what praise sounds like. That didn't sound like no praise. Well, I look. buy shoes when I want to. All right, then. So what's the problem? I guess if I don't, I don't care. I hear that. I hear that. Well, what will you guys be doing this Black Friday? Black Friday is on the 26th of um, 27th, November. no? No, 26th of um, November. Mm. I was like, I did the baby say? No, 26th of November. No, is it the 26th of November? Next Friday is 27th. Does it say that? Oh, yes. Yeah, <laughs> so then to you, KC. <laughs> the 27th of November, yes. next week, Friday. Yes. We are eight days away. Well, the UK's in lockdown, so they ain't no going to shop. That, that, ain't that no that going to shops, but who needs a shop when it's online? Yep. I mean, the thing is, with Black Friday, over the past few years, what they've been doing is that Black Friday online which is really supposed to be Cyber Monday, which is the following Monday after oh, Black Friday, nice. has basically just turned into a month, a long thing. Yeah. So stores have already started doing sales online. Yeah. And I feel like they all understood that, look, there's nothing you can do right now. We are fully in lockdown. Yeah. No shops are open. Yeah. So it's got to be online. But Black Friday I just, I just don't feel... I don't feel people are going to buy it, man. It won't. I don't, I don't think it will hit the same. I mean, mm. number one, we are in a pandemic. Yeah. And number two, I think... From last year, a lot of the Friday Black Friday sales were online as well, yeah. mm. and it was literally just like our ten percent discount here, ten percent, twenty percent. It's discount not there. the same, is it? It's not. It's not the same. So I don't think they're going to be able to do the manic sales as before because with those, like they would give you a mad sale, but you still had to struggle to get it. You yeah, see what I'm exactly. saying? It's too easy for you to get yeah. a half off TV. Like they just won't do that. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. me personally, I don't even care. Like That's I can't let these shot. people capitalism like TV, and consumerism. Yeah. I can't let them kill me. You see that. what I'm saying? Hundred percent. Yeah. And the thing is. Um, Black Friday, man. There's no, if it if it's not a pair of trainers that's going on sale, like even the trainers that we want, they don't go on sale. You have to raffle your life yeah, exactly. away. Exactly. So you're, you're being fooled, really, really, man. If you really feel that like you're getting a big discount, worry. trust me, you're not really getting a discount. Right. But you know, do as you please. If you want to go and spend everything on Black Friday, do as you do. You know? And like, if you don't want anything right now, mm. like, why do you need to want something when Black Friday comes? Yeah, exactly. I mean? like, don't just force yourself don't, to buy nah, something just because it's there. Don't do that because obviously you know there's things that you track throughout the year. And then some people, no, not even some people, a lot of us wait for things to go on sale. Like, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if there's not something that you want to buy, don't just like go into Black Friday saying, oh, yeah, Casey, yeah I'm just going to get Casey, it. Just I know for real, you, this Black Friday, Zara, going to buy jazz. <laughs> Zara, don't, Zara don't care. Zara are like all of these things that I have to raffle for. These people don't give discounts. No, they don't give, they, the stuff you want they don't too, give really discounts. Too. But when Black Friday comes, yeah, Casey, if I see a message on my phone, yeah, like, uh, Sorry. Look what's on. Look at my wish list. Look at the prices gone down. I'm gonna be like, Casey, I told your ass. Don't ask me fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna hear it, okay? <laughs> don't look at me like I owe you anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay? No, no, no. But what I'm trying to say is that I know Zara and them type of shops, they're definitely gonna join in. I don't they think they so. Will, you don't mm-hmm. think Zara? Zara are too bougie, man. They might give you like 10% for, I think that's what they did last they year. I think it was like, like 10, yeah, yeah. I think I think they gave like 10% for like three hours or something like no, that. No, but Zara, Zara already do stupid sales, like off the bat. We t- come yeah, on. only when we go deep into Christmas sales. Christmas and February sales, fine, and summer sales. That's it. I mean, okay. they've got a special offer thing going on. That but. special price thing is a load of ass. Okay, exactly. let's let's wait and see. Yeah. Let's wait and see. Let's if there's see any it. steals, obviously I'll let you guys know. Mm-hmm. Let's see what goes on. But anyway, guys, yeah. there was something that went on, what was it, two days ago? Yeah, that's Two days ago. Yeah. So Toby asked me a question. Mm. What sneaker deal would I take? Or mm. what deal from a brand would I take? Mm. So context, now, basically, Nice Kicks put up a picture. This guy didn't even let me finish what I was going to say. Nope. Anyway, well, continue. I'm, I'm trying to help you out here. Because I thought you were going to go straight into the question. Well, some context in the situation. Nice kicks. This episode a picture is chaotic. On Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It happens from now and then. Nice kicks put up a picture basically of um, which sneaker deal will you take. Uh-huh. And essentially, like uh, basketball players, you know what basketball players, what ends up happening is once they come out of college and they get drafted into the NBA, mm. they most likely get a sneaker deal of a brand. This could be um, some sort of cash sum with a signature shoe okay. or um, basically some sort of other deal. It could be equity within the company. It could be. Um, access to all of the shoes within the um, under their roster, basically. Mm. Um, so the options were Nike, Jordan, Adidas, Reebok, Puma, New Balance, and the cash sum ranged from the top brands being Nike and Jordan, having a lower cash sum of ten million and mm. fifteen million, um, and then you get access to all of their shoes, all the way through to Adidas giving you forty million with your own signature shoe, and you have a choice to collaborate with Kanye West on the shoe. Um, Reebok offers sixty million, uh, a signature shoe, and the um, an additional 32 million when you turn 55. So you only get that 32 million when you turn 55. Um, Puma was 75 million, no sneaker deal, but a 2% stake within Puma. 
And lastly, you had New Balance, which was 100 million, a signature shoe, and your own entire COVID line with New Balance. So my question to you guys, I want you two to answer. I want you to ask Katie, because you've already spoken to I know what I'm going to go for now. All right, cool. Okay, let me see the picture. I want to know what you will go for out of them. And essentially what that means is that if you pick a brand, you could only wear that, that brand, brand shoe forever. and essentially they're closed forever okay, until, well, until your contract ends, basically. Well, Reebok is out of the question. Why? Because 60 million or not, they are not drippy, okay? <laughs> I, 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 I hear that. that. I hear that. I hear that. I see Cardi B trying to sell it for us, but it's never going to happen. It's not work because like, end up like those um, Reebok hurricanes yeah, that they try period. to sell them. I mean, Reebok Remember. has some silhouettes, but like it's not something you're going to wear. It's not time. enough. Um, okay, cool. That 32 mil, though. Oh, but the thing is, is that's only till you turn 30, 55. To, and imagine if you don't make it to 55. That's what I'm saying. But imagine if someone doesn't make it to 55. I it, that I money's I, gone. I, what, what's his what? name? Alan Iverson. Yeah. He has to wait till he's 50. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Same I mean, that I'm money. telling you, you can get gap. Yeah. You can, but it'll go to your estate. Your family will enjoy it. That's why. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, it'll go to your estate. No, bro. I get. Okay, yeah. I get my family enjoying the money, but look. But what about me? Is it not my deal? All right, cool. Um, Puma was 75 million. No signature shoe, but two percent stake. That's big. Mm. But Puma tr- trainers don't be slapping, man. Yeah, we were saying exactly. Yeah, well, I have to wear their inside. brand forever. I can't yeah. wear Nike. Until the, the end of your contract. The, the rich dad, poor dad people came in on Twitter and they were basically oh, like, "Look, that's the only option." Nah, because a two percent stake in Puma. Two percent stake. Yeah. Yeah. Whilst, whilst you're still thinking, this is what I was saying to Toby. It really depends on obviously what you want out out of the deal. Like, if you're someone that is. You don't really care about everything else, but you're like, okay, I want some money to represent a brand that I align with, mm. and then the added bonus is that I get some trainers as well. Then calm. I think, um, and let's put this picture up on the on the edit as well, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so we can have that up. I think I would choose New Balance. Really, I said that. Yeah, too. without a doubt, said actually. That. I said that. It's too. a hundred million pound uh, dollar contract. I get a signature shoe, and I, I own a clothing a line. line. So Bro, essentially, you'll get paid from that clothing line too. That's not up for debate. It's no, New but Balance. The thing is why it's up for debate is because a lot of people turn around and say you can't do much with New Balance. I feel like New Balance did no. just specific. No, a lot no, of that's, people, that's what that's a lot of people, people say on Twitter. You can't do much with New Balance. New Balance is a brand which people don't wear. Um, it's something where you can't really do much in terms of design. But New Balance has shown this year specifically for me personally that you they're very first. Between Amy and Daughter and Casablanca, it's a crazy. Madness. New Balance. Let's not do that. No, I weren't even. Do you know me and Toby? I don't know if you was thinking about that, mm. but I weren't even thinking about Amy and Daughter. I was just like, this is better than everything else. Yeah, but that's because you like New Balances, though. Yeah, I like New Balances, mm. and yeah, it just made sense. I, I'm not gonna. Lie, I was thinking about Nike and Jordan. Yeah. Only no, the only reason from why a, I was, from a high no, point, no, 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 from, from, from a sneaker point of from, view. Uh, from someone that has always had an interest in the brand, yeah, I was like, this aligns with me. It's not enough. But it's a joke. It's when, not you're enough. Seeing, when you're seeing 100 mil at the bottom, yeah, compared to, 10, million compared to 10, 15 million from Nike and Jordan. That's 10 yeah. million 10 times. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, nah. I remember yeah, with Nike that. and Jordan, you could only wear Nike shoes, and with Jordan, you could only wear Jordan, Jordan shoes. shoes. Yeah, so it's not kind of dumb, but... It's not, it's not a cross thing, but yeah, me personally, definitely New Balance. Calm. Yeah, well, that's man. it. Well, another um, another um, item on the list mm. is Whiskid. Yes. Whiskid. So, and it's not even just Whiskid, because Better Boy did one yesterday, I believe. He did, but you have to pay for that one. Really? Yeah, yeah. Whiskid's one free. Yeah. £12.50, yeah. Through YouTube. Really? Yeah, and Julia Danuga's going to be hosting. It's actually oh, in an so hour's missing, time. Yeah. Sick, so sick, we're sick. Gonna an hour so just first recording. We're going yeah, to need so. to make a quick set out yeah, of that. So, okay, something that I really like about these guys is that they're still trying to push their content out. They're still trying to um, please their fans. Who's yeah. these guys? Whiskey Artists. and Burner Boy. Artists, Artists. 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 Mm. So, um, right now, they're doing live shows mm. virtually. Yeah. Well, YouTube and yep. stuff like that. Uh-huh. And um, Burner Boy did one. He, I think the tickets were twelve pound fifty. Twelve pound fifty, mm-hmm. 12 yeah, 50 and you can watch him live through the screen. Yeah. Um, I How, underst- sorry, sorry. What do you think about that? Because everyone's been doing it for free. Um, um, I mean, the thing is, yeah, it's very hard for um, artists and people within the creative industry right now. Mm. Yeah. So, like, I can't, I can't say anything bad about it because really and truly, they need to make money. There's no, okay. there's no, there's no other way about it. Yeah. However. I mean, not many people are at the moment are willing to pay for um, shows on their computer screen. It's right. not something that anyone's happy to pay for. I mean, they tried doing it with movies for years, and people found a way to start watching movies for free. Yeah. So I don't really see it taken off, but I see why they're doing it. Do you right. know what? I'm not mad at it. The same way you pay for box office to watch a boxer. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's yeah. true. It's, it's exactly the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. It's exactly the same thing. It's just. You know what? It's like a lot of things in life. Some mm. people see value in paying for boxing mm. and watching it. Yeah. Some people don't see value in paying to watch an artist. But like Toby said, these um, artists are not really getting their just dues at this time. Mm. They're really getting 
done. Not, yeah, finished, done out here right now. Concerts so gone, festivals I'm, I'm, pr- I'm proud of the fact that they found an alternative yeah. way. They found an opportunity out of a negative. Mm. And yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I, I love the fact that Wizkid is doing it for free through YouTube. Mm. Burner, Boy, Burner Boy, I'm not mad at him that he's charging people. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, he's, that's his value. Yeah. Yeah. He's his value in that. And if that's the case, then people that love him, I want to see him. Pay your money in it. Yeah. yeah, some of that will take some time, but I pay money. Like down the line, maybe people get used to it. But for now, I don't see it working. But yeah. um, yeah, I, I definitely want to see it. Wizkid's just released a new album, so I'm I, I want to hear the music. I'm looking forward yeah. to that. Yeah, I want to hear the music live. I am. All I'm right. excited. But um, another item on the list. Oh yes. Notes. Not free s. Not free s. Not free s. I like that. <laughs> there's some problems. Yeah. Uh, there's a there's a couple of problems. There's a the problem in the home. In so the um, home. not in the home. In the home, there's a problem. Listen, Twitter was a mess yesterday. I didn't catch most of it, but it was an absolute disaster. So quickly, let me just brief you guys on mm. what happened. Notes has a girlfriend, Denver mm. Bar's um, ex. Yeah, yeah. And they have a baby on the way. Mm. That one came out from nowhere. Right. Mm. But anyway, congratulations to them both. Notes has decided that he wants to play outside and has been cheating on his missus with an ex-girlfriend who he was gagging to see and messaging and asking her to come see me, come see me, and the girl was ghosting him. Has he actually cheated? Ross, it's a lockdown. He was not allowed to cheat because the girl rejected him. Oh, Ross is a yeah. lockdown. So um, he was turned away, mm. and the girl decided to go to the shade bar and basically not even sell her story because it was free, but to um, spill the tea and basically say, like, raw notes wanted me, but I had to reject him. I had to send him home to his missus type thing. And then she jumped on live saying the same thing, like, raw, oh. like, I try, period, sis. I try, but I can't Social help media, you. Like, yeah, he be like, wanting me, magazine. blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So there, there's been a lot of talk. Mainly, it's been like two things. Notes is obviously trash. Cheating on a pregnant woman is mad. Causing a pregnant woman stress is mad. But yeah. then there's also been the side of like, as a girl or as a woman, why would you feel comfortable to... Like, this is not even something that you had to do. Like, mm. this could have been done privately. But you decided that you wanted clout off the back of this. If she didn't want clout, she wouldn't have um, sent the screenshots to Shade Bar. Mm. And she wouldn't have gone on live to be talking, 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 be laughing at the situation. Because yeah. ultimately, there's a pregnant woman involved. And extra stress on a pregnant woman is can can potentially be life threatening. Yeah. So everyone was basically there there were definitely two sides of the field. So I wanna ask you guys first of all, mm. what do you think who do you think was more at fault? Notes. Notes definitely the one that's at fault. Obviously fault. obviously notes is at fault because he was the one that cheated. Yeah. What but in this what we're talking about is like the impact. Generally, no, well, the girl shouldn't have there's look, there's always better ways of doing things. Mm. And what the girl did in that situation Mm. she did it out there to get her name out there Mm -hmm. yeah like you don't need to go into shade bar and do a live like what the heck is this they they, they most likely paid her right oh no you don't know but it is what it is but that is it's trash of her because even even if that did happen there's better ways of you doing it without anybody knowing Mm. and for you to come out yeah what what else does that do except for everyone knowing like no one yeah. needs to know yeah like you could have just you could have actually had a phone call with the woman yeah and said look like your boy is doing a so you feel like notes has exhibited the most trash behavior out of everyone no 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 no, no. everyone's everyone's done trash man no no, no but the most trash the thing is what know. out of what everyone out of, in notes, the scene? Out of no no oh, out no. of notes and the girl that like went on live and sold her story oh yeah, or yeah whatever for sure like, uh, no, 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 no. no. I said you for sure. Know, oh, for that, sure, what? Who? I, that notes is, has done the most trash behavior. Okay. No, no, no. Say, for what he did, yeah, no, that's trash. I'll explain, no, that's trash. I'll is explain it more why. trash? I'll explain why it is more trash. You know what? It's all go, a go pile of shit. Go on, the, the, guy, the guy has been caught in the act, right? right. He did the deed. The only victim here is the baby mom. Yeah. So yeah. I have no issues. Whatever the other side or the woman wants to do that he cheated on or he attempted to cheat with yeah. does, essentially that's her own life. She, if she wants to uh, make money off it, that's her own business. Bring out a book. People, Many people have done that in the past. Sire. Look, that's your own business. But it's facts. But really and truly, in the end, the person that started it was Notes. Yeah, of yeah. course. He did something that was wrong. 
you is trying to step out on your relationship with your baby mom who's mm. about to have a kid. You mm. are aware she's about to have a kid. This is not yeah. news to you. Yeah. So whatever, whatever. I mean, it's just the truth. Like whatever this girl oh. is going to, if she wants to go to shea butter, make a shea butter. No shea butter. Shea shea butter. Shea butter, baby. If she wants to go to the shea butter and sell her story. Shea butter. <laughs> Do you want to go to the shade bar and <laughs> sell her story? Then she's well within her rights to do that, isn't it? I mean, like, uh, in this situation, the person nice. that's done wrong is notes. And yeah. I mean, if the lady wants to be dirty, there's dirty people everywhere. You're going to be done dirty. Unfortunately, the baby, mom, the baby mom has been hurt in the situation. Yeah. But, you know, make your money at the same time, man. Because in the end, if you don't do anything, it'll just be an opportunity gone. And yeah, you know? I don't know. I think maybe it's because i'm so desensitized to cheating mm. and I, you know there are certain expectations or whatever yeah but i just feel like okay notes doing what notes has done is what notes has done yeah and that's trash mm. and that's trash there's yeah. nothing else to say it's on that trash. It's trash. but there is a level of like respect no nah, there's a level of violence that you have to have like there's a level of like malice that you mm. have to have to say to yourself i'm gonna expose this person and i know it's gonna affect someone that's heavily pregnant mm. to me that's wild maybe okay. that's maybe that wasn't on her mind of course it was on her it mind it was on her mind for sure she of course it was on that. her mind she but said, what, okay what if the news picked up for free no if the news is picked up for free it, it like it's it's a shame it's a shame but so your problem is the intention behind it the thing is right intention is ed, no 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 wait intention is key but like like you said, if the news picked up for free, a newspaper story, a newspaper's role mm. is to get a story. That's their job. Yeah. They have to do this, right? You had no, but you didn't actually have to do this. No one even asked you. Like, you she came could, out of she nowhere. Could be a writer. And do you know what's so, no, do you know what's so <laughs> mad, yeah? Is because it was like, I can't even remember the, um, oh my God, I need to find the tweet. But basically, it was like, oh yeah, I relate to this situation because, like, yeah, me and this guy were together and this is what he did to me and he was asking me. It was like, bro, who even asked you? Like, where where did this even come out from? It was oh, unprovoked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was completely okay. unprovoked. It was like no one even asked to hear what Your, was going on. Right. Yeah, yeah. So she's just come out of nowhere and done this. I understand that like what notes did was mad. It's absolutely mad. There's no there's nothing in that. Mm. But you didn't even have to come out and say anything. I heard, I heard why that. did like why 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 did you do this? No social media is killing my this people. Is, but this is what it is. It's social media. It's the clout of it all. Because yeah. if this was like I, I can't lie. You know, back in the day with like footballers and that Wayne Rooney and that when when the wives and stuff, cool on these, man. yeah, yeah. But the thing is, those people were getting sold. They were getting given big money to be selling their stories. Mm-hmm. The person that David Beckham had an affair with, allegedly, yeah. they were getting paid hundreds of thousands, book deals. Yeah, you yeah. know, they were getting expensive. You're not even getting that. So yeah. what are you doing it for? It's not even money. You're doing it for clout. Yeah, you're but, doing it so that social media can just be going back and forth. But this yeah. is the thing, because social media now, the fame that you get from social media could be like the new currency. This is the new book deal. I know, but but not like because yeah. and especially because we know how fickle social media is as well. Mm-hmm. Like this story is gonna go in a couple of days' time. It will, hundred percent. So why did you do this? No. Another no, thing no. that even, another thing that even jumps on social media is Tion Wayne and Teddy Wong. Oh yeah, God, man. that yeah. situation is just sad. The reason why is because it's like I know. By the way that they were cha-chaing together, mm. they didn't want to fight. Survive. It really was, uh, you know, the hokey cokey. Like they actually really didn't want to fight. Yeah, like they, they, they deep did. down, they did not want to fight. Like, they, huh? uh, they just did. They they did not want to be in a situation. Like they're both very successful right mm. now. Obviously, yeah. Teddy's got a number one album and stuff like that. It's like I don't want to be caught in this. I know he doesn't want to be caught in it, but you have to. On, you have the to. The cameras are on. Yeah. That's, yeah. What yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like so, to an extent, do you? I mean, I don't respect what they did here, but. Do you at least see some sort of hope in the fact that they are actually thinking about the fact that look, I've got a career. Yeah. If we scrap on this plane, yeah, our, yeah. my career is over. Well, so I, at least there's some, there's some, there's something like turning their head to make them think, okay, cool, like I've got a life and a career, and if I do this right now, then it's over. But still, at the same time, that little you know hesitation for you guys were doing on the plane was a joke. Like it was unnecessary. What? You, you're making the assumption that they didn't want to, they didn't want to do anything, and that's what everyone's yeah. saying. Like, if that is the case and that's the way they're thinking, then that's good. Okay, if, but by, the, but by the way that they weren't dancing, that mm. they were, by the way they were dancing... You, it, you would assume that. They weren't trying to fight. Yeah. It, they weren't trying to but fight. But anyway, at the end of the day, we all know Tion Wayne got a little knuckle, knuckle, knuckle duster in. So yeah. That's it. A little wah, yeah. It's childish, man. Ah. It's childish, really. It is what it is. You know, but, the, the beef probably runs deep. I don't know. Yeah, no, no. Too many people have... Probably been hurt in the situation, yeah, man. 
I'm yeah, but like, mm, no, no, it's no, no, it's deep. No, seriously. No, no, no I, know, I, I, I know. Of course, it's deeper than rap, but it's just like, like, oh, no, anyway. Yeah. Okay, so let's not even. I can't even talk too much on that. Just, it's just too long. But ultimately, it's like we also have to ask the question of ourselves. Yeah, let's not even go here. But we have to ask ourselves. When we're singing Jiggy Jiggy on deck and getting yeah, excited, yeah, yeah. why are we going to be... Everyone's singing that from the top of their lungs and then someone is fighting on a flight. We're singing... Down yeah. But we were just singing Jiggy Jiggy on deck. Who, what, who was that fire to? Me? Yeah, Do you true. know what I mean? Like, what were we expecting? You don't, don't get to... You don't get to, like, co-sign songs that are supporting the violence, but yeah. then you actually see the violence and now all of a sudden it's... Oh, no, they've got too much to lose. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that, man. It's just... It's hypocritical from us. Mm. And it's like, it's hip- it's hypocritical for us to expect one thing. We expect the violence. We expect you to be a driller and sound like a driller and act like a driller and talk like a driller. But mm. then when you're on a flight you with your prop, op, yeah, yeah. and we're saying, you got to look past, it's this, deeper. Yeah, this is and the you should be able to separate the music from the people. No, you anyway. can't. You just yeah. said it's deeper than rap. This is what social media has got to, man. People are just trying, yeah. to, people trying to pick pick sides and pick and choose where you want to back someone. But really and truly, like, you got to take the package as it comes. Like, yep. these guys are hood and they're fighting on a plane because they've got beef, which started before the rapping started. Right. Yeah. So if they're going to come to you as a rapper, even be talking about this life on this, on on music and you're out here dancing to it, mm. then if you see them on a plane, you don't want to be hearing stories about oh, yeah, they've got too much to, to live for. Uh, you're setting a bad example. You guys yep. were supporting that bad example. So, you know, I mean, that's, I listen to the music, so... Just before we get onto the main topic, have mm. you seen the meme of the what's it on the door? Oh, mm. yeah, until <laughs> yeah, Tim trying to break through. That, I think that what's it was supposed to be that, that Morrison guy. Yeah, literally. <laughs> oh, man. Let's not, man. In any case, that's, this is a good segue for our title today, our topic today even, which is how social is social media. Mm. Yeah, for real, man. So there's been a lot of changes online and a lot of things have been happening. But before we get into all of that, I want to ask you guys a question, yeah? Right. So there was this thing that was on Twitter, like how it started versus how it's going. Mm. And I want to do the same thing for various social media apps, yeah? yeah. So I'm going to give you some apps and then you're going to tell me how it started versus how it's going, yeah? yeah Let's right. start with my favourite, Twitter. Twitter. Okay, so I, I'm not sure if I was there for when Twitter first started, mm. Um But Twitter back then... I feel it has, it still maintains its socialness, if that's even a word. Mm-hmm. Um, I still I still think it's going down the direction of where it wants to be because it's still a place for, a platform for people to come mm. and freely talk. Okay. Obviously, society has changed a bit, so everything's become a lot more, you know, controlled, that like you can't say certain stuff on there. Mm. And I feel like that has benefited social media to, to the most because essentially back then, people were freely just talking was like, Right. It was wild out back then. Like yeah. people were talking the most crud, and it was it was a dangerous time, really truly. Mm. So I feel like now that it's come a, a bit more controlled in terms of people are thinking about what they're really saying a lot more. Yeah. But it's still got that whole ethos of come on here and freely talk your talk yeah. your shit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Michael. Twitter's still doing that thing. Um, so from the times when I was on Twitter, mm. uh, we're talking about six seven years ago. Mm. Yeah, Twitter yeah. was lit. Mm. It, was, was, it was, it was, it was fun. Was shit, man. That yeah. team was like cocaine. Like, yup, crack in the 80s, bro. <laughs> that team was a drug. Only, yep. <laughs> crack in the 80s. Yeah. Crack in the 80s, <laughs> But now, um, I think it's like, it's leveled out now. Mm. Yeah. Um, like you said, it's now It's now mellowed down, more yeah, down a bit. Like, from everything that I've seen, from memes to news, everything normally comes through Twitter, then comes to Instagram, yeah. and it goes through that flow. So, in a place where you're trying to bring out news, trying to be social, trying to hear the latest things that are going on in the economy or what's going on in like social circles, mm-hmm. Twitter is the place. So yeah. I feel like it's do- it's doing it's doing what it was intended yeah, to do. Exactly. So I think it's just leveled off. It's not more. It's not about the, oh uh, yeah, like let me get as many followers as I can and stuff yeah. like that. It's more about a place for information, news and stuff like that. So yeah, I feel like that's a proper social networking platform so yeah. i think it's, it's doing what it needs to do yeah that's it nothing more nothing less for me personally i joined twitter maybe like 10 or 11 years ago mm. um when i started from the people that i followed and like the space that i cre- curated with the people that i followed it was very um ignorant like you could just say shit and just yeah, get away with it. Yeah. like it, it, there was no filter you could just kind of be who you were and say wild opinions um mm. and it was just all banter it was mm. everything was for the banter it was yeah. just jokes, just yeah, vibes. Yeah, yeah. Like no one was being serious, no one was acting like they're smarter than anyone. It was just vibes. 
How it is? It, how is it going now? Um, it's bad vibes. You think? Yes, really? bad vibes. It's bad vibes. I feel like everyone is always trying to be right. Everyone's trying to argue. Yeah. Everyone's always trying to have a one up on someone. Everyone feels like that their opinion is gospel. It's yes and amen. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, big time. Especially the old heads on Twitter too. No, I feel like it's the young. The I feel. Newness. I feel like it's everybody. I Serious. feel like it is ev- everybody. I don't know where it's come from. It's just bad vibes so like yeah. say for instance okay so i'll give you an example so obviously you guys know i hosted i did uh no signal the other day yeah, yeah. 10 v 10 and i didn't play a particular song that congratulations people by the way. thank you yeah that was a really big move for her life thanks oh, very much god um, didn't win just to say as i said he last did week, in my heart and you know in my mind true so anyway in any case so um i repped gunner and i didn't play a particular song that someone wanted me to play there are about three or four people in my dm telling me to kill myself because because I didn't wow. play spending addiction like like or or you didn't play who you're fooling you can't kill yourself <laughs> like drugs, just man. bad yeah. vibes like you could never do that before that would never run before and like it's weird though because back in the day like I've I've said it a couple of times um, as a young dark skinned black woman I felt like there was a lot of smoke for us and like there were a lot of harsh and aggressive tweets mm. but now it might not be as intense or as or as dumb and as ignorant but. You say something. Let's say I say, oh, Coke is my favourite drink. What, you don't like Fanta? Da-da-da. Now, before you know it, I'm anti-black, I'm homophobic. Everything has just gone left very, very quickly. People just always want to argue. So, I think you're right. I think it's definitely been a centrepiece in terms of information and getting information. The whole NSARS movement, it wouldn't have existed without Twitter. The whole Me Too movement wouldn't have existed without Twitter. So, it's definitely been um, a source of knowledge for a lot of people. But... I've got to come up with that absolutely. Yeah, yeah, man. I feel like, I feel like, like dark side what, we're, what we're basically getting to with Twitter specifically, the social aspect of it yeah. is basically gone. Yeah. It's now just a place for people to basically just say their own opinion. Yep. But now it's opinion backed by some sort of ego that makes you think that what you're saying is 100% yep. correct. Yeah. Which is not... And that you have the right to go and tell someone that everything that they're exactly. saying is wrong. It's an right. increase of familiarity for some Too reason. much. Yeah. Too much. All right. Let's... I'm t- We're tight for time already. Yeah, let's go, man. God. All right. Instagram. Mm. Instagram. How it started, how it is going. Oh, Actually, wait, Instagram, Instagram. that was too intense. Do we want to do that one right now? Yeah, I want to do this. Yeah, might as well get it. All right, cool. Instagram, how it started. Start, it in the bin. You man. know what? Instagram started all right. Yeah, tell us how it started. St- so Instagram started yep. what, like what, two thousand? I would say like twenty twelve. Yeah, no, yeah, 2012, 2013. Um, 2013. Mm-hmm. and um. Everyone was getting used, to, was kind of getting into it. I don't think anyone actually got into it at that time. Everyone mm. was just posting pictures. Oh, it's a new app. I can post my pictures. Mm. Let me post what I'm doing. Like, that's all it was. Yeah. Mm. Now, Instagram. Damn, man. The, the whole dream. algorithm. God, the whole thing fucked up, man. Yep. Oh, <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, like, oh, now, now it's a place of egos. Mm. That's what it is. Like, I'm telling you right now, like, when people were understanding that you can make money off of it and you can become an influencer on yeah. Instagram, yeah, everyone now wants to be an influencer. Yeah, like I'm not gonna even I'm not gonna even lie. I, obviously, that's a um, a path that I'm going down. Mm. But it's like everyone, I'm, and I'm not saying that not everyone could be an influencer, but some people are just doing it for the sake of doing, it and it's mm. like, what are you doing? And now they've added a um an. Uh, a section to Instagram where you can now buy stuff on. I don't want to buy nothing on Instagram. Mm. I'm just here to see good vibes. I'm just here to see what not yeah what people are doing. Um, and that's really it. Let mm. me just save a picture yeah. and know that it's a picture. Chate was crazy. I yeah. don't think that this is too far away from where they started off with. Because mm. I really feel like because I'm still trying to understand exactly what Instagram was in the beginning. Right. Because in terms of Instagram being a social platform, it wasn't like Pixel back in the days. Because mm. Pixel was a place for you to just come and post random pictures or Tumblr, for example. You had to create a website, mate. You had to create yeah, a, Pixel, we had to Pixel, create a website. Yeah. Yeah. website. That's create a whole website. Like, it was like your own personal blog. Yeah, yeah. but like Tumblr. Though. It was like Tumblr. Yeah, yeah. Tumblr yeah. was a place where people can chuck up pictures, you know, styling things. It's kind of like what Pin- Pin- Pinterest is now. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, Pinterest is a bit different. It's, it's, it's slightly different, but, yeah. but in terms of like being able to post your pictures and Pinterest like yeah. do what you want, yeah. yeah, it's like a mood board, but it's still part of your own personal blog yeah, kind yeah. of mm. thing. But what Instagram, I'm not sure if they wanted to do that at the beginning. I feel like the, their whole aim was to build some sort of like marketing platform where people yeah. could um, basically promote and sell themselves. Because mm. essentially, Instagram in the beginning, yeah, people were posting pictures and it was a little fun. Um, to see people post pictures, but essentially from from the get go, people were trying to build some sort of lifestyle on Instagram, which yeah. wasn't really what was that what it was like in real life. Yeah. I f- I feel like this new Instagram has been built off the influencer buzz. 
Yeah, yeah for sure. That's for sure. Yeah, I yeah. don't feel like Instagram was just a place from what I saw and from where it was going. Mm. Yeah. It was just a place where people posted their pictures. Mm. I've even read books about influencing and stuff and a lot of people said at the start it was just me posting my pictures, posting how my day was. That was really it. Mm. Now it's kind of involved to where drip, drip, drip. There's, there's, me, there's more, like, there's a plan behind it. People are not coming it. on it to freely do yeah. what they want to do course. anymore. And now, the way Instagram's gone is now based off that influencer pathway now. Mm. Yeah. So people are now doing influencer, influence marketing, such as Melissa Wardrobe and other people, mm. showing clothes, showing items and all this type of stuff. Now you've got a segment where you can now buy stuff Directly. and it's linked to that. Yeah, yeah. It's a so I feel like it's just evolved based on what is currently trending that's definitely it's, it's such a such a shame for me because uh, like instagram was one of the places that i kind of like i felt like it was for me and my friends mm. you see what i'm saying and now it feels like i'm not gonna lie there are some there are some relationships some friendships that i have where i've kind of depended on social media for me to see like if they're yeah. good or you know that was our way of checking in with each other yeah. to see that we're all right or like mm. you know holding on to certain friendships that you know weren't necessarily saved by, phone calls on and by that. yeah yeah you're literally yeah. holding on by the thread of instagram mm. legit yeah so when it's like i can't see their photos i won't see their photos so like two weeks later it kind of removes that that friendship and that yeah. relationship so it's been quite difficult to maintain relationships yeah. i think Another example, I think, in terms of maintaining relationships that's been a bit of a struggle is, I don't know if it's just me, but in terms of, like, the expectation, like, the accessibility that people have for me, yeah, like, yeah. that they have to me, even, I feel like, um, so I, I had a I had a situation with someone um, last year. Basically, the situation was that um, because I was posting on socials and, like, I was still very very active on socials, but I wasn't necessarily calling or speaking to them. Mm. They felt like, oh, I had an issue. But it just might be a, th- a case of, like, I don't want to focus I don't wanna on talk this. right now. Like, mm. I don't want to talk right now. And I think the thing with socials and the problem with socials is that that might be my echo chamber. That might be where I just want to release myself and just talk. But I, I don't necessarily want to talk to anybody. And mm. I think Instagram, Twitter, DMs, all these type of things, it means that now there's this expectation that I just have to be ready to respond to you yeah. when you feel like, you want a response. Yeah. So if you text me now, if I don't text you in five minutes, it's a problem. I had an argument with someone not too long ago of, right, I didn't text back in the time that you expect me to text back. So now there's an issue. Yeah, yeah. I think it's definitely changed in the way that we interact with people. Yeah. It's somehow created a lot of over-familiarity. There's mm. a lot of people that feel like they have access to you when they really have no access to you, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, and then at the same time, it's really got to a point where it's um, reduced people's like um, patience. Like mm. everyone wants to everyone wants stuff now and yeah. i think that's why they've included the whole shopping section because instagram has built this situation where as soon as you see something you're like you're going to google trying to figure out where, where you can get it from yeah. yeah they provided you the option to like just quickly buy it from instagram straight away which mm. is a money making scheme for them but it's something that has developed over time i don't think that was their main attention um from the get-go but over time once they started to see that this is what people wanted they just basically yeah. just provided what you wanted you know what in regards to what casey was saying um people having access to you immediately i mm. feel like it's social media has been a big impact to that but i feel like it's just the generation that we're in we're able to have access to things so easily yeah so pretty. things are so easily accessible mm. so now people don't have that proper understanding of time mm. that's what it is mm. and i was actually listening to something um yesterday where we look at um what's called being 20, 25, 27, 28 as yeah. being like the new 50. Yeah. That's why we don't have that it proper understanding. Because like imagine mm-hmm. right now, yeah, um, imagine you are, let's say, 25, 26, 27, and you have like 40 years left mm. until retirement. Mm. But right now, we're looking at damn, if I don't make it to, if, I don't, if I'm not a millionaire by the age of 30, I've then lost that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And where social, and the reason why I'm saying that is like in, in regards to social media, where someone can su- just DM you, mm. it's like, okay, damn, like this person DM me right now, I need to get back in touch with them. If I don't get back in touch with them, they're Missed not going to, that's it. Or I miss a follower, or this type of stuff. Yeah. And that's, that's the way it is. And I'm not going to lie, even in this time of um, lockdown, mm. it's, I, I believe it's helped a lot of us realise that, damn, we have to set boundaries. Yeah. I hope so. And that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. But Instagram, Twitter, all of that doesn't actually help. It just so, makes it a lot harder. So let me ask you, and I'm conscious because we're very tight on time. The way that we have interacted with our friends based on like what we've just mentioned now, yeah. Instagram and that, like the over-familiarity, what do you think the future of interactions with our friends and strangers is going to look like now? 
I'm kind of scared for it. I'm kind of scared for the future of yeah, interaction. I am. I am. I think it's. I think it's getting to a very weird space where, um, I'll, I'll basically say my first point, which is basically people feel like everyone is okay because they posted a picture. Yeah. yeah. Or they put something on their story. Mm. I feel like we've got to get to a point where we understand that look. Instagram and social media is the highlight bro. Yeah. And you've heard this a billion one times, but it's so true. Like this is the place where people come and show you their, their best, best life. life. Yeah. Bro. It's not the way people are doing. And we need to go back to a space where we do have normal interactions with people. I mean, obviously we're in lockdown and COVID nineteen is trying to stop that, but please understand that look mental health now is a lot worse than it was yeah, back then yeah, yeah, and you yeah. need to, you need to, you need to check right up now. on your people yeah. i know it's an extra stretch i know there's this whole situation where people are like look focus on yourself do you yeah you know it's all about you make sure you're you're making sure you're you're okay you're all good but mm. honest, yeah. understand that look we've come from a time where everyone was together everyone will see each other i mean you'll always be playing out with each other, you'll always be going out with each other. And yeah. that was a way that you could always make sure that someone was okay. Someone could, yeah. it was an escape for people. Yeah. People, social media is no longer an escape for people. No, it's not. It's a place no. where people are getting bombarded on a daily yeah. with lifestyles, which people are trying to say is achievable. Mm. But really and truly, it's not a short-term goal, it's a long-term thing. Yeah. So you need to check up on your people. You need to make yeah. sure that they're okay. You need to go back to interacting with people. What about you, Michael? Social. I, you know what? I don't want to say this, like, God forbid, but social media is going to have a lot of people going crazy. Like, it really is. Because... It's a lot. It is a lot. It's... Um, like, like I was saying to someone this morning is that the opi- there's so many different opinions that are going on in social media. Yeah. People telling you on how to be successful in, in a year. People telling you that, oh, if you, if you don't um, go into hideout for a year, you're not going to be successful. Conspiracies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Conspiracies. Conspiracies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's Everything, called? Man. Spiritual things. People not being able to talk to you. People talking to you. All this type of stuff. There's yeah. too many opinions that's going to drive people mad. It's building robots, I feel like. It's not, no. It's because not. people are not allowed to think for themselves anymore. No, do you know what? I think it's an oversaturation of thoughts. Like, I too think many. social media is just a place. There's just too much happening. Too many opinions. I, don't, I, don't, yeah. I just don't think it's healthy for us to consume that many opinions, it's that really many facts all in one section. And I think... Going back to the original question of what the future of interactions looks looks like, I think th- there is a need to just bring it back to basics. Mm, but there is a need to continuously check on our friends in a traditional way that is less about like depending on an app that focuses just on highlights yeah. Yeah. to judge whether someone's doing all right or not. And I, I, I never realised how out of touch I was with my friends until we actually started linking up and we yeah, were talking about things about that, that they don't post online. Yeah, like yeah. My best friend, she is studying at Cambridge right now. Scholar. Yes, shout out to her, up, shout out ups. to my good sis. Yes. She's studying at Cambridge right that now. Too. If you looked at her Instagram, you wouldn't know. Yeah. And it's that thing of like, that's such a big part of my life. You wouldn't know. Yeah. Like I have people in my life who they might have lost family members or, mm. or, or they like there's massive, massive changes in their lives. You won't see it because of social media. Yeah. So there's an importance to kind of bring it back to basics because if we depend on an app that is showing us reels of random people dancing, talking about Renegade, yeah. and then you put, <laughs> like, there's a place where the, the main central part of the app is where you can buy things. This is not what we can depend yeah, on anymore. The social what? aspect's completely gone and it's just materialistic now. Mm. Do you know and what? they're I, feeding you that. Mm. I hope we're able to come back and actually feel reality mm. like when um what's called when we went down here i'm not gonna lie like yes, it was good. lit yeah it was nice just it to get away just, just to, to get, get away. away and we were of, of, of course like those times we were on our phone but like majority of the time we we're just chilling yeah. but i'm very scared yeah i don't feel like it's going to revert back until like we personally decide to make, make yeah that's it yeah, yeah, Rock, that's work way. work alone where people are telling us that we're not gonna have virtual meetings we're yeah. going to be in the office less. Yeah. Which means we're going to be in in our houses. Like, we were talking about being at work 35 hours of the week. Yeah. It's going to be, we're going to be in our houses yeah. 98 hours yeah. of the week. Yeah. It's crazy. So, boy, I, 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 don't, know, I don't know what it is. I think we, it's, it's, it's on us to make the changes that we need to 100%. make in order to make things work for yeah. us. Um, but on that note, I want to hear people's suggestions. For that. Yeah, man, I think that oh, I'm so I'm so sad that we nah, have to cut it so this short. Is a, this is because this is a, it's a meaty topic. So mm. maybe we can talk about it next week. Yeah, maybe yeah. we can just like follow up. 
do like a live or something, or yeah. like we could do like a clubhouse on it. What do you think? Yeah, clubhouse, clubhouse. is another app that's popping. What do you guys know about clubhouse? Do you know about that? The thing is, I feel like that's gonna be We'll see. We'll see. We can't even do all of that. But thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to follow us on Instagram DBTH Podcast, Twitter DBTH underscore Podcast, YouTube search Don't Believe the Hype Podcast, or you can search DBTH Podcast. What was that? I don't know. Yeah, Yeah, we've got some unboxing coming soon. Um, Let us know what type of videos you want us to post. You know the vibes already. Mm -hmm. That content will be coming soon. Anything else? Any other business? Nope. Time for for Weezy Baby. Look, look. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Is it five o'clock? Yeah, yeah, five five o'clock. Anyway, guys, this is DBTH. Don't believe that. You know the vibes. Peace to the peoples. Peace. Peace. Check us out on YouTube.